Hi everyone, today we're gonna continue setting up our project using OneNote. Let's get to it. This is Alex with Bim It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. So I'm just creating a project template. So this would be my project number right here. So you go to properties, and then you would change the display name of it. My first section is gonna be info for information. Actually, I can type information, right? Then the second section, it's gonna be data file location. Then the next one's gonna be pending and coordination. Then the next one's gonna be meetings. The next one is design. Then construction administration. And let's just have a placeholder here for others. Then under information, I'm gonna have one page that's called general information. Then I'm gonna have another one that's gonna be contact. Then design approach overview. Then codes and references. Then schedule and then deliverables, expectations. Then under data file location, I'll have latest file location. Then under pending and coordination, I'm gonna have coordination with architect. I'm gonna have coordination with civil. I'm gonna have coordination with HVAC. I'm gonna have coordination with electrical. And I can add another placeholder here, coordination with others, maybe landscape, the equipment consultant, the kitchen consultant. Actually, let's rename this as kitchen. And let's create another one for lab. And let's create another one for med consultant. And this one will be lab consultant. And if you take a quick look at our hierarchy of information, you'll remember that after each one of the coordination with each discipline. We had pending items, action items, and coordinated. So you have two options. One option would be you create three different pages, one called pending, another one called action items, and another one called coordinated. You can move one page to the bottom or to the top. And then what we wanna do is we wanna have these three guys have a lower hierarchy than coordination. So you can simply right click and make sub pages. And then that way, you know that under coordination architect, you have pending items, you have some action items for ourselves, and you have some coordinated items. That's an option. Another option could be say under civil, you could have your pending items and then say pending item one, pending item two, right? And then have another piece of note here that would be your action items, right? So this would be action item one, action item two, and then you would have a third one called coordinated. So coordinated item one, and coordinated item two. And then you could apply different headers to this. It's a heading, right? Heading, and then heading. And I'm doing this as a template, and then I can reuse this over and over again for different projects. So it all depends on what you find easier. So if you have a huge list of pending items, then you have them all displayed here. You have a lot more space, it's easy. But then you would have to take those items and take them to action items. There's a bunch of functionality here. You have this to-do list here, and this, you know, some people like that, like you can start, see one two three and then you can check them off okay i'm done with this okay i'm done with this and they like to see the check boxes and everything's done i don't like it too much i like to see things blank maybe it's my ocd so in that case i would have to have my different items here right so i have my first item my second item and then my third item and then once i'm done with this one i would have to cut it out of here and paste it under action items it doesn't seem too practical 
but I just like it. I just like it because at the end I see pending and it's a blank page and, 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 it, and it just calms me down. That's all it is. So, or you could use the approach that I'm using here in civil and then you would take pending item one, you cut it from here and it becomes an action item, right? And then once you're done with your action item, it becomes coordinated and then you end up with a pending list that is completely blank. And that's pretty calming to me as well. But again, different options, thousand ways of skinning a cat. So I'm just showing you a few of them to see which one you like. I think I'm going to stick to this one for this project. So I have the same thing in each one of the disciplines. Now under meetings, I think I'm going to keep it simple here. So down here in this page, I'm going to have information on the schedule meetings. And then I'll have a new page for each one of the meetings. So this would be year, 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 month, month, and date, date. And then a description of the meeting. So you would have a bunch of meetings right here. And then one of the great things about OneNote is that it's directly linked to your other Office applications. So for example, with Outlook, you can simply stand here and then you come here to meeting details. And then you can choose another day. But like right now, I have a meeting right here today at 6 p.m. with Bob, the builder. So if I click here, I'll wait until Outlook does its magic and boom, brings all the information right here. So we have the date, we have the participants, so I can collapse here, I can expand, and then you can click on each one of those participants. See, this is Bob the Builder. So if I click here, I can send an email right now to Bob the Builder. So that's pretty useful. And then you can start taking your notes down here. You know, you can use your bullet points here. So note one, note two, and note three, and so on. Now for design, I think I'm gonna end up creating a section group. So I can call this design. And then I can rename this as plumbing. And then I'm simply gonna drop that into design. And then I'll have here fire protection. So let's go back to plumbing. And then under plumbing, I'll have a basis of design and summary. That will be my first page. Then I'll have another page. This one will be calculations and detailed design then I can have another one called equipment selection and then under equipment selection I can have my typical equipment for plumbing for example a domestic booster I can have water heaters or heat exchangers or whatever like this is a general category you rename however you want you could have a compressor you could have a vacuum pump you can have water purification, like a reverse osmosis system or something like that. And then you could have like rainwater leader reclaim system. And then all these from here to here, I want to make sub page because those are all equipment selection. You want to probably keep these guys in alphabetical order. I haven't found a way to organize them alphabetically automatically, but you know, you would just make it work. Like you can take this one up and then this one would go here and then this one would go here and so on and now we can easily just copy this structure into fire protection and just paste it here we have the same structure here so and then under equipment selection we can you know just delete this because this doesn't apply but then we could rename this as let's say fire pump and this could be pre-action system maybe you can have gaseous system so new page and as always like I mentioned before let's say you don't have any gas in this uh, particular project you simply say not applicable and that's it and the great thing about this is let's say I didn't know yet that they didn't have any gaseous system so I would come here to coordination let's rename this as coordination architect and owner maybe my request to the owner would go through the architect, right? So we have a pending item one, then I can ask, let's say I have an MDF and I wanna know if I wanna protect that with a gaseous system, right? Or a pre-action system or whatever. You can tag this as a question and then you can find it easier later on. But my point is that this is a question, right? This is a pending question. Once they give you a directive, let's say I sent the email. By the way, you can, you can actually mark it, like tag it as send an email so you know that you have to send an email. 
I would just send the email, right? So let's just copy this and I'll send an email right now. So I already sent my email requesting that information. And it turns out that the owner doesn't want a Gashia system to protect his MDF. So this at some point was pending, right? So I sent this information. The action item was to send the email. So I could have placed it here, right? But I did it right away. So that's not my action item. So maybe this one in particular, maybe my action items, I do want to have them with a format of a to-do list. Then let, let, me, let me take the bullets out, right? So my action item was send email asking about Gashia system for MDF. And then I'm gonna check here because I already sent the email, right? But it's kind of pending, right? Because I sent the email, but I haven't received a response, right? But let's say I do receive a response and it's not required. Then I can come here to coordinate it. Then I can come here to coordinate it. And I know that there's no Gashia system required for that MDF. So I'm gonna just place it here. And the beauty of this is that I have the email that directed me not to provide that. So I can simply just drag and drop it here. I attach the file and I can simply cut it and paste it right under my item. And then now I have this as a coordinated item. So if they ever ask, well, why didn't you provide a gaseous system? I can simply double click here. I open the attachment. So I have it right here from the horse's mouth. No need for FM200 or Novec 1230. So 